Hello viewers, welcome back to the tutorial. So guys, in this video, we are going to talk about Ent Design for React. And guys, you must have heard about this UI library and it is getting very popular nowadays because it gives the professional UI components and features. Let me show you some components of this. These are the components you get in this library and these are very professional and elegant looking. You can use this component for free in your applications and it will give your website a very professional look. So here you can see these are the components like buttons and for the layouts grid and spaces and layout. After that for the navigation you can see these are the breadcrumbs, drop downs, menus, anchors and let me show you some more like this. So basically it gives all the solutions for a professional website that you can imagine of building yourself. That's why I'm going to show you how you can integrate this in your React application and use it. And guys, in this series, I'm going to show you step by step how you can integrate most of these components and make a beautiful layout for your website. In each video, you are going to learn something new about these components and how to use them properly. So that's enough talk. And now let's see how we can integrate this in the React application. So guys, here I've created a new application with the help of Create React app. And you can see how I created that. And after that, we are going to open it in VS Code. You can open it in your favorite editor. So currently this is our application. So in this application you can see we have a simple React application. But currently I don't need these test files. So I'm just going to delete these files and these logos. And now we're left with the basic application. So now I'm going to run this application with the help of npm run start. So it is automatically opened in the browser. And here you can see there are some errors because we removed these logos and files. So we have to comment it out in this uh, index.js or just remove it. And we have to also remove the logo import from these files because we have deleted that. So we have to remove all this code from here. And let's just write a simple h1 tag here and write hello coders. So now we're ready to use the end design in this application. So when you come to this website, you'll see something like this. And after that, you have to click on this usage with create react app if you are using that. But if you're not using the create react app or anything else like Vit or just Next.js, then you can follow other tutorials like this. So for right now, I'm using the create react app. That's why I'm going to use this. As I have already created a React application, I'm going to install it in the React application. So for that, we have to install the end design manually in our application. And for that, we need to search end design. And after that, you'll see this npm package. And with this command, you can install this in any application. So let's just copy it from here and run it in the VS Code by opening a new terminal. And now you can see it is installed in our application. Now we can use the components of end design. On this website, you can come to this component section now. And here you can see these are the components that you get from the end design. So let's use this button component first. Or you can use these typographic components to render the text or headings. So here you get these headings and paragraphs. So in this button section, you can scroll down and you can see these are the buttons which you get. And you can see there are many variations of these buttons. But for now, let's see the code. And here you can see we get these buttons and space from the end design. But for now, let's just use this button. And, and for that, we are going to import this button from the end design by writing import and button the end D. And now you can use this button inside our application. So let's just write button. And in this, I'm going to pass something like click me and now let's see our application so and now you can see this button in our application and it is by default animated also so let me zoom it and show you so now you can see how cool this looks that's what you get from the end design it is very simple and easy to use and guys you also get the props and apis to customize these buttons so if you scroll down then you can see these are the props that you get to customize these buttons. So for example, if you want to add a class name to this button, then you can use this class name prop. 
or you can show a variant of these buttons you can pass them like danger and uh, similarly there should be others like uh, ghost that makes the background of the button transparent and invert the text and border colors for now let's try to use this danger and just write in this danger or you can manually set it to true by default it is true so you don't need to do that just write danger and now let's see now you can see it turned to red that means danger and you can also set the icons and loading status so for example let's try to use this loading by removing this danger and now you can see the button is loading or you can show it like uh, uh, submit and whenever the user clicks on the button you can show the loading animation so that user gets the feedback that your process has been initiated and something is loading on the back end so it is very cool and there are many like this you can alternatively style this button with the help of these styles and you can just pass the css in the react style so we'll see these components in the later videos so right now let's try to use other components so cascaders are basically useful for creating selectors and menus like when you click on this then it is going to expand more and more and guys with the buttons you also get these float buttons to show something like this so for example when i click on this then you can see these menus coming out and that's what you can use with the help of these buttons float buttons in the end design so let's try to use this button for that you can just import this float button and you can pass anything inside this like uh, icons image or text so let's uh, write chat and now you can see this is showing here now you can click on this and we can perform any type of action like we on this website so guys end design gives us ability to customize our themes and you can just click on this uh, theme editor and here you can see how you can customize these layouts and themes so if you click on this dark mode then you can see how it looks in the dark mode and i'll show you in the future video how you can implement the dark mode in the end design and you can also see you can customize these colors and styles from here so guys, that's it for this video i hope you learned something about ant design from this video don't forget to subscribe to watch next videos of this series in which i'm going to show you how you can integrate these components and make a beautiful layout with the help of ant design stay healthy keep coding and keep watching tutorial